We're going to show you how to adjust the motor, uh, the belt tension, by sliding the motor. Um, you will need to do that if your hammer slows down uh, when you push on the foot pedal uh, and it seems to go kind of sluggish. Um, and then it speeds up again when you take the foot off the foot pedal. That's a sign that the belt is slipping. It's a timing belt, so it is uh, cogged, but the cog part is only on the pulley. That's the motor side. Uh, on the flywheel, um, it's a smooth surface. So if they get, if you get oil on it in time, or the belt tension uh, uh, goes down, then you will need to have to uh, tighten it up. First step: unplug the machine, or if it's permanently wired in. Um, the circuit breaker and then if you have a motor cover take it off there may not be one uh, there are three bolts that uh, serve to adjust the motor and slide it back and forth and there's four bolts that hold the motor and bolt it down some older hammers have a fourth bolt uh, to slide the motor back behind here so you can parallel slide it or you can uh, slide it sideways like this. The, so the belt is trying to pull the motor like this. So the only bolts that really will do anything uh, in, uh, in the sliding is this and this diagonal one. So first step is we're going to loosen this up and uh, make it go out of the way. This one? Yeah, this one. We we'll just loosen it up all the way, make it go all the, out of the way. Then uh, we will loosen the four motor bolts. Um, you may have to reach in here. This is why it's a good idea to have the, the motor positively shut off. You don't want this to come on inadvertently. Uh, just loosen them a little bit, not too much. Uh, and then for the last one, I may have to get in here. Whatever works. Okay, this is loose now. Um, you can see, maybe with the camera, in here, the smooth surface of the flywheel. Beautiful. Next step is we're going to um, run, the, run the machine and um, adjust it and show you that. Sup? So I plugged the uh, machine uh, in and um, we're going to take a quick look here at the belt, how it is right now. Uh, if I am pushing this, I have to kind of look from here. I want to push it between the flywheel and this um, pulley. And I want to be able to push it maybe maximum 3 eighths of an inch. It feels a little loose. You can also check the tension by turning it sideways. If you're able to turn it more than 90 degrees, then it's too loose. So I want it a little tighter. The other thing I want to change is if you look in here, you can see that the, um, the belt is riding up on the um, carved pulley uh, on, the, on the side where my hand is. And this side is a little bit, uh, here's a little bit of play. So we want to, what we want to do of these uh, two bolts, we want to push this one a little bit back. And we'll start out by leaving this where it is. This one is all the way out of the way. We opened that before. So I'm going to tighten this one up a little bit. I'm going to turn it on uh, and then we'll tighten it up and you will see how the belt will ride up on the pulley more uh, towards the motor and it'll also uh, tighten the belt. So you, you'll have to do this, either like this or like this or in parallel until you got the right belt tension and um, until the, uh, the belt doesn't ride up on either side of the pulley. So I'm going to turn it on and he's going to follow with the camera.
here and it's still riding up on that side of the pulley so in other words I have to loosen the motor a little bit uh, and rotate it this way so now next step is I have to tighten this one and maybe loosen this one a little bit more because this belt is getting too tight uh, see if I if he uh, shows me pushing here I'm barely able to push it like a quarter inch. And if I turn it, I can't even turn it 90 degree. picture uh, that the belt is somewhat running in the middle. The main thing is that it doesn't run up really hard onto one side of the pulley otherwise it will get frayed and the belt will wear out pretty uh, quick. Also if you make any adjustments in there with the wrenches you're near the moving part near the belt when it is running be really careful uh, to not get your hand caught in there. You're gonna have to do some of that because you're gonna have to make adjustments while the hammer is running but uh, just be super careful and, and make sure you're qualified to do this kind of work. Um, so the last uh, step is to tighten uh, the sliding bolts um, up again and then uh, the motor mount, which are these. All of this gets uh, tightened up and then uh, I already did those. So, um, just want to show you again the, the, the pressure of the belt. You could go in from here. The pressure of the belt, about three eighths of an inch, and you push it down, or with some force, turn it 90 degrees. If you have an old machine and you got oil on the belt, uh, it's okay, belts can be oily, 
but you may have to tighten it a little bit more. Um, if you tighten it too hard, I don't know if you can hear it in the video, but the motor was starting to make funny noises. That's usually a sign that the belt is getting too tight. Um, if it's too loose, it'll be slipping uh, when you push uh, your foot on the pedal. Somewhere in between those two, find the right middle and have fun with your hammer. <laughs>